Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked what is one of the solutions to the given equation, where we have this quadratic equation right here. There's a couple ways you can go about doing this. The quadratic formula, you can factor this if you can recognize the factors just visually. But what I'm going to do here is completing the square. And what that's going to involve is we're going to take these terms here, z squared plus 10z plus some number, is going to be something squared. We'll find out what that is in a minute. We're going to subtract 24 since that's right there. And since we're adding this number, whatever that ends up being, we have to subtract it again at the end. And this is going to be equal to zero. So how do we find what value here turns this trinomial, this three terms, into something squared? Well, the trick is you take this number, 10, you divide it by two, that gives us five, and then you just have to square this to get 25. Divide it by two and then square it. This is gonna give you 25. And then again, we have to subtract this over here at the end. And now we take this and we say, okay, what is this squared? Well, it's z, all of these are plus signs, so we do plus, and then this value right here is the term that goes there, five squared. Just to check this again, we would get z plus five times z plus five. If we wanna distribute this, we get z times z is z squared, plus five times z, plus another five times z, 5 plus 5 is plus 10z, and then plus 5 times 5 is 25, so it checks back out. Then we do minus 24 minus 25, turns into minus 49 is equal to 0, and now this is an equation that we can solve a little bit more easily than this original one. We want to get z on its own, so we can add 49 to both sides. This cancels, and we're left with z plus 5, squared is equal to 49. What we're going to do is we're going to take the square to both sides. These are going to cancel. We're just left with z plus 5, because the square root of something squared is always the thing itself, is equal to 7. One little step here. We don't know whether z plus 5 is positive or negative, right? And what that means is that we have to turn this into positive or negative 7. Now we just have to solve this. We do z plus 5 is equal to 7, and z plus 5 is equal to negative 7. And this is going to give us our two um, solutions to the equation. In both of these, we want to get z on its own by subtracting 5 from both sides. So we get z is equal to 7 minus 5 is 2. Subtract 5 from both sides here. z, if these cancel, is equal to negative 12. So we're asked which is one of the solutions to the given equations. All you have to do when you're on your actual SAT is you just write one of them down. In this case, two, for example, is our final answer.